Let's dive into the key areas you want to focus on to optimize your app's workload. We're going to start with activity types. Activity types are essentially categories of possible activities that your app can experience. Each of these raw activities has a base workload unit cost, and it's important to understand that most app operations are a combination of several activities with varying degrees of complexity. So the more complex, the more workload units you're going to need. For example, creating a new database record with conditions, search operations, constraints on those searches would cost more than creating a new record with no conditions, no searches, no mapped fields, right? They're technically both executing a uh, an action to create a new record in the database, but Bubble is doing extra work for the action that also needs to run conditions and do extra database queries and apply filters to those. And that's going to be reflected in your overall workload unit consumption. The challenge you need to overcome is predicting the right number of workload units your app will consume on any given month. Because your app's activity can vary by day, by hour, or even by the minute, it's easier if you use an aggregate planning approach. Try to measure your workload units by a date interval that gives you a fair representation of common consumption. Now, this isn't going to be consistent every single time, and it's always going to vary by app, but if you were to sample a date interval, let's say a 24-hour period or even a week, month, at any point in time, your average workload unit consumption should consistently be around the same count. And you can also factor in growth over time. What you should aim to understand is the following. Which activity types make up the majority of consumption? What patterns and trends in your app's activity, especially if it's mostly driven by user behavior compared to fixed automations? Um, what can you find out of that that you can better predict for the future? Where do you want to place your priorities? For example, keeping a complex, expensive workflow may be worth the higher cost if it's serving a very vital core function in your app and has little room for reworking. The more predictable your activity is, the more you can focus your optimization efforts on the right areas and choose the best plan to fit your needs. With this strategic approach in mind, there are several tools that you can use to gather this information so you can find those patterns and really learn what your app's workload needs are going to be. The first is your general app plan details. Make sure you understand how many workload units are available to you per month and uh, how many you have already used. So you can find that information within your editor settings. The next tool, and this is uh, really the biggest tool available to you, are your app metrics. So you can find this within the logs of your editor. This is the primary monitoring screen of your overall workload. Here, Bubble has several visualizations to show you your total workload over a span of time across both your development and live versions of your application. Most of these visualizations are interactive, so you can drill down to more specific activity information and or change the different time periods. You want to get into the habit of making the screen part of your normal development work. As you understand which activities and types are higher in workload units, you'll find more opportunities to optimize. Next are your server logs. These will show you one of the most granular pieces of data, which is the exact amount a workload units that an activity consumed. This is especially helpful if you need to compare those workload units for different approaches in logic, or, you or if you have a, a complex workflow made up of various actions with various conditions, this will tell you exactly how many workload units it needed. 